Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be taking a look here at Apple stock. Now this is one that we have not touched base on here in a very long time, but honestly there has been not a lot of price action to trade and that's one of the main reasons why I've been cooling off on this stock. But mainly here guys, I think that this Apple stock could be waking up. So I want to show you exactly what I'm going to be watching over the next few days with this ticker. But especially, I want to show you what you guys have been missing out on if you haven't already checked out my free Discord, which is linked down in the description below. So again, that is absolutely free to join. And as you guys can see here, we have been taking advantage of the Apple run over the last few days. I told you guys in the Discord when Apple was around 122, 121, make sure you take advantage of this Apple run. There's a lot of money swinging into tech. And as you guys can see, we have been having an extremely good week this week, almost 40% in under an hour here on Fubo. So again, guys, that is going to be for absolutely free. And there really isn't any reason why you shouldn't at least check it out. But coming back to Apple stock, I want to talk about what levels I'm watching with this stock as far as my position that I'm in personally and essentially when I'm going to be cutting the position or what I'm looking to happen here as far as price action and as far as Apple's technicals here over the next few days. Now, as you can see here from the chart, Apple has been having a lot of moments where they wedge up and then break out, but don't find the strength to really break from their previous high level. Now, as you can see here, this has happened twice in the last few months, and what this is signaling for Apple is really kind of a stopping of their run. A lot of people are getting more wary of the valuation on this company, and I feel like they're going to need to produce some sort of new earnings, rumors, or news in order to continue running again and get that volume ramped up to where people are going to be excited about buying into this company again. Now, as you can see, around the 118 mark, there was a huge spike in volume. And this is one of the main things that I look for with companies to invest in is when they do see a spike in volume, because that is going to be a key moment where investors at least think that the price is momentarily cheap. And as you can see, this has caused a nice run in Apple that we took advantage of on the channel and that we took advantage of in the free Discord. So again, guys, that is going to be a great resource. If you're thinking of looking for trading ideas, you don't know what exactly to trade, you don't know what exactly to buy, make sure you're checking that out in the description down below. And we also have the link to the trading view, which is where I do all this technical analysis and where I was able to see that 118 really was a great level to jump in at. Now, taking a closer look here at Apple, all I really did to the chart was change the candle length from one hour to five minutes. So essentially what this means is that instead of every candle on the chart being one hour of trading time, like what I usually show here on the channel, each candle is now worth five minutes of time. So essentially we're taking a closer zoomed in look at what Apple was doing during those hours. And when you see a candle really spike to the upside or the downside, Going on the five minute chart is going to give you a better idea of what type of spike that was, whether it was a slow grind up, whether it was a jump and then a sell off or what exactly happened during that hour to make the candle specifically look that way. Now, right now you can see that we are clearly trading between these two levels we had established for a very, very long time. So there's no new surprise here for Apple. 126 has been a level of resistance for a while. And you can see that the stock has had two rough attempts to break that level, but has unfortunately failed over the last few days. Now, 118 is going to ultimately be that best price that we always look for on a stock. And over the short run, Apple is not looking like they break below 118, or at least looking like they have the strength to stay within this channel between 118 and 126 for the time being. And I think that that is honestly a good valuation for Apple. Even if they drop down to the 108 a share, I still think that is a good valuation for Apple where they would be very, very undervalued. Now, Apple only trades at around 14X of their multiple. So honestly, any breakdown in price for Apple will still be a great time to buy, especially when you compare it to other stocks like Facebook, Google, etc. There's still a lot of opportunity with this company, Apple. Now, as always, guys, I want to talk about what you need to watch for ultimately catching a breakout or if we are going to catch a massive run on Apple, which a lot of people think might be happening over the next few days. Now, obviously, guys, I always say we need to take an eye on volume when we are looking for these great moments to trade a stock. And right now, it looks like Apple is not receiving the kind of volume that we'd be looking for for a breakout. And I think that that is one of the main reasons why this stock failed at 126. But right now, we need to watch and see whether the stock is going to have some strength coming back from testing the 200 EMA and bouncing, 
or if potentially we're going to come back to this 126, make a double top and then sell back to the bottom of this channel, which would ultimately represent a great time to buy. So right now I'm watching the second support where the price would uh, bounce down to at around this 123 level right here, where you can see that the stock has made a lot of bottoms and a lot of tops. So that's going to be a great level to watch that has been consolidation in the past and has represented some turnarounds in price. Now, ultimately, if the stock does break, break below 123, 118 will be that price to watch. And most of my share position is accumulated around the 121, which is exactly when I noticed on the Discord or when I notified you guys on the Discord that it was a great time to hop in. Now, guys, when we are investing into a huge company like Apple, it's going to be pretty key to see what the news surrounding this company is and what other people are thinking at that exact moment about the stock you are investing in. Now with Apple, there's always going to be news or someone talking about what is the company doing at that moment. So that's always going to be good for generating hype around a stock, free hype that you can obviously trade off of. And that's why Apple has been a great winner in the past. But right now you can see that the top three stories are about Apple being either in a negative position or just some wishy-washy call out like what we're seeing here from CNBC. And if we come to the second page, you can see that it is really kind of dumb news. Even Mac Rumors, which is not a credible news source, is saying that Air Apple shares jumped from an AirPods Pro ad. Now, I don't think an ad is going to ever be enough to move a company's stock either in the upwards direction or downwards. So I'm really honestly surprised that that is even investing news. But as you can see, a lot of the pieces about Apple are either wishy-washy or very negative. Even Motley Fool here is saying that this is good stock for a bear market defense. So obviously that's not great for Apple and it's showing that the market could be crashing for a lot of these big tech names. So obviously I recommend you guys to get in, but that was very much for the short term and very much you have to keep an eye on the market and see what's going to be happening over the next few days because you should not just blindly hold on a lot of these tech names. Now, this is one of the articles that were surrounding Apple there when I was showing you guys the Google search that I did, the basic Google search that you should just do about any stock you're considering investing in. But as you can see, this article talks about how Hawaii is going to start demanding 5G royalties from companies like Apple and Samsung. A lot of iPhone makers and Samsung makers are going to be charged here. And as you can see, they're going to be charging for their 5G wireless patents. So what that shows you is that the U.S. is actually very behind with a lot of these technologies as far as 5G. And now that there are bans in place in the U.S. and Australia for a lot of these technologies and also the U.K., as you can see from this map, it's going to honestly force Hawaii to charge these companies, Apple and Samsung, for using their technology outside of China. And this is going to be a very big thing on the political stage within the next few years of time which I think will negatively affect Apple because it will bring the company into this China fight, which the U.S. has historically had for a very long time. And I think that President Biden is not going to be the type of president to allow China to walk all over him, especially not at the beginning of his term. So as always, guys, this is going to be something to watch for the long term. And if you are into AMD, Apple, Hawaii, any of those stocks, you're going to want to be keeping a close eye on how this develops because ultimately this is going to be one of the leading things affecting Apple in the future if they are going to install 5G mobile networks and really have them interconnect well with their iPhone with their new iPhones which take 5G. So as always guys, that is going to be where I'm holding my shares until and if it goes below that price, I will be adding and adding and adding, but I think that 118 will be that price where Apple can't break below in the long run. So as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope all your trades are in the green. And don't forget to check out my links down in the description below if you want to see the free Discord or if you want to see the link to the Trading View, which is the platform where I do all my technical analysis. But as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.